Hi guys! So for today's Craft With Me video, I had mentioned that I had a really cool uh, project that I wanted to share with you guys and this is what I made. I'm calling it my vintage photo album and let me show you how I made it. First of all, let me kind of show you what this um, little photo album looks like. I actually put one of these little, I forget what they're called, but they're Tim Holtz little, I don't know, little knob things. And all I did was for the closure, I put this elastic, I kind of grunged it up, I inked it up, it was white. And all I did was put that around and that's what I used for the closure. So I had mentioned something about using the picture frames and that's why I had hauled all these different kinds on Monday. So if you didn't watch that video, I'll link that down below so you guys could see that haul, which was super fun. And all I'm using are just the um, Photomatic found relatives type of um, vintage photos uh, from Tim Holtz. And here I did add some of the uh, book corners and then you open it up like this. And these are two pockets and each side has three of these. Just little, I wanted to also add enough little spots to journal on. And so each side of these have these uh, tabbed index cards. And so these are just pockets. And I did some, um, just a little bit of decorating on both sides. And so again, it's the same on both. Then you open it up again, and it's like this. This is again, just um, just decorating with uh, the vintage photos and the uh, picture frames, and the same thing on this side. And here I did double uh, little pockets, I don't know, little flaps. And so you open them both like this and you have more of the vintage um, paper dolls that we put on here. And then you open it up like this. These are envelopes. And then you have more space to actually journal on. And then on each side, I have just a simple little journal book that this is the tab binding. We're not going to do that um, for this project, but this is just an idea that I went with for this one as an example. And I just thought that it was fun. Isn't that too cute? So let me get into the back. Let me just close this up. And then I have the back here. So what I used to make the cover to this, and this is probably gonna be a two-part video, is uh, a file folder. Well, it's the hanging, the hanging file folders that have these. Now, I had been looking for vintage ones at the thrift stores and I never found any. And I just happened to pop into uh, Walmart forever ago and I actually hauled these a long time ago. And I found a whole set. I think they had like 10 or 12 for like five bucks, Walmart. And they, they were the green that I wanted. And so this is what we're gonna work with because I need this big of a size. So this is what we're gonna do. So let me, let me tell you what we're gonna be needing. Because we're just gonna be making the cover for right now, all we're gonna need is one of these hanging file folders. You might need a ruler, a cutter, um, your bone folder, and um, distress oxides if you want to distress the edges. I'm using ground espresso for this one because this is a darker color green. And um, your glue, art glitter glue. I think that's it for now. Oh, and your your scoreboard i'm using my large one because we are going to be scoring so i think that's it so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to cut off this whole piece right here i want to get rid of this little hook and so i'm just going to cut right along 
where that hook is here. And so I'm just going to use my metal ruler and going to cut it down. So I'm gonna get my knife and just cut this all the way down. There it is. And then I'm gonna do that for the same, the same on the other side. And cut that down. Okay. I don't know what you could use this for. This is very hard metal, so. <laughs> If you can find something to use it for, let me know. Okay, now the actual photo album, it measures, uh, what is it? It's uh, six high by four, I think it's four or four, let me see. Yeah, it's six inches tall and four and a half inches wide. And we will be using the entire uh, width of this file, this hanging file folder. So I'm going to measure this to six inches tall. So let me go here and get this measured right. I'm just using the grid on my mat. And then go ahead and cut that down. Okay, and so this is the side. You can also use this because it's really maybe a quarter of an inch difference. So you can still use it, the measurements. Uh, or the folding and everything will still be the same, but we are going to be using the six inch. So let's do that. Before I do it, there's some parts here, since I cut out this part, I'm just going to glue that part down, just because I wanna keep it because I like the way it looks. So if you can see here, I kept that part. And I just like the I just like the way it looked. And so we're gonna keep that part in. So let me just glue this part down. And so I'm just gonna lightly open it, just get a little bit of glue in, press it down. And I'm just gonna do it with every little tab area. Press it down. So we're just gonna do this on all all of the little notches here. And then we're gonna do the other side. Sorry if my voice sounds a little scratchy. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. My daughter has been sick. And I think after taking care of her, I feel like now I'm starting to get it. But we're gonna just go down and then I'll give you guys the measurements. And then, okay. So there we have it. This whole thing, let me tell you, this whole thing lengthwise it's probably, let's see, 17 and maybe three quarters. So that's the length of this whole piece, 17 and three quarters. Let me put this back on because we won't be needing this for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to get my scoreboard out and I got the big one. Come on. Okay, 
So I just do it this way because it's easier for me. So this is the inside. We're gonna start with the right side. And we're, start, we're gonna start scoring at four inches. And then four and a quarter. Now this, because it's pretty thick, you can really, you can really um, press down on it. Four and four and a quarter. And then we're gonna go to eight, eight and five eighths. I love this scoreboard because it has like all the measurements for me. Eight and five eighths. And then nine and one eighth. This is gonna be the spine. And then I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna go over again and do the four and then four and a quarter. And then that'll give us what we need. Four and then four and a quarter. So we need the side the side uh, folds to be a quarter of an inch and then the the actual um, center binding is going to be a half an inch okay I think I'm done with this for now so let me put this down okay so here what I'm going to do is start folding this down and making sure that I have everything folded evenly. And we're just gonna start scoring and creasing all of the folds. So this is one side, okay. And then the middle, this middle crease that's already there, this middle fold, that's we're gonna have to work around that. But we're gonna actually crease on both sides. So we're gonna do this one here. So we're actually creasing probably a quarter of an inch on either side of that fold. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure that we have everything even. And then the last two here. And the last one. This is pretty thick, but I really like it. And I've been wanting to make a project with this for a long time. And so I finally came up with something that I'm happy with that I can share with you guys. Okay, so here it is. Now this, because it has this little crease in the middle because of the original fold, what we're gonna do to kind of stabilize that is to put a little strip of something in the middle. And see this one, I put a strip of this green here just to kind of keep it from folding. And that kind of keeps it a little bit more sturdy. So we're going to go into, let's see. I do want to use, I want to make this Christmas theme. I think that would be fun, a holiday. Let's make it a holiday theme. So let's get something from in here to kind of help out with that spine. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could use maybe this, I wonder, yeah. I could use this, that, that would be actually pretty. It has a little bit of green and a little bit of red. And so all I'm going to do is mark it so let's do it this way so that I could see it a little bit better okay. 
trying to see where this fold is. I think I'm going to use actually you know what I think we're gonna switch it out because I didn't want you guys to see me grunge it up by inking all around it I already I already made one and I inked it okay so here it is it's the same thing it's just already inked you see awesome this is this is me trying to be efficient <laughs> for you guys so that you guys don't have to watch me do things I think this might be exactly the size I might trim it down just a tiny bit just to make sure but I am going to put a little mark on here so that I'll know where to cut it. So let me just trim this part down real quick. Where did I put my... I'm just going to take this one out. And then just trim this down. And then I'm going to, sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> I noticed it in my other videos, how squeaky it was. I was like, oh my gosh, embarrassing. But let me go ahead and just ink this just to get rid of the white edges. And then we can add that down. We'll do all the decorating and all of that in um, Friday's video. But for today, we're going to get the basic base part of it down. So we'll go ahead and put this down here. And this will kind of stabilize that, that fold in the middle, that original fold. So let's go ahead and glue that. Just glue this down. And of course with my tweezers because it's just easier for me and make sure that I put that right in the middle so that it doesn't bother either fold on either side there there it is so once that's glued down then that's going to help stabilize the spine see not bad right okay so we have that down I'm trying to see why this is not even hmm. We'll just work with it not everything's going to come out exactly how you plan it but it's still going to work so now what we want to do is make our we're going to make these we want to get those done so let's choose some more paper And let's see, I kind of like this holly, but I need something that's similar so that it kind of matches both sides. You know what I mean? I want something that's going to, I could do some type of plaid, but let's just kind of check real quick and see what it is that I want to use. I could do stripes. Mm. trying to see I want something very festive so we're just going to kind of flip through real quick and see what I could use just the plaids the plaids would be pretty too maybe those 
or I can use the jingle bells let's see or the holly these might these two might work let's see let's keep going so here we have these two stripes that I could use that might be cute let me see what else I have with the candles I could do these two candles that might work too but I was kind of wanting maybe more of either the holly or the poinsettia the flower so we have that one we have these these are the plaids I don't think I want to do this this doesn't seem this seems just more winter vibes for me we have this holly we have this these two might go since they're both a little bit bigger or these two okay let's figure this out let's see what I want to use let me put this away we have this holly too these two are pretty let's do these I think I have more no we're gonna do these two I like those okay let's put all of this away We'll use these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here, I really don't have a measurement. I guess I guess I could measure it, but all I'm going to do is mark it. And let's see. I think I might have to mark it this way so that I can actually see where I'm marking. Okay, it would probably be right here. So I'll cut that all the way down. And then let me do this side. And mark where I want it. So you just kind of decide how, wi how wide you want your little flaps to be. And then we can go from there. Let me get my... Will this work? No, it's too. It's too long, so I'll have to bring out my big one. So let me cut this down. Save that. That's one side. And then cut this one down. And this will be the other side. Okay. So this one is on this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to need our scoreboard. I think it's this way. We're going to need our scoreboard. And I'm going to score it half an inch for the top flap. So let me get my little scoreboard out. So we'll do this way. We'll do half an inch and score it down. And then we'll just go ahead and do a half an inch this way. Sorry, this way. And score it and then we'll do the same for these and then we can decide how long if we want them to touch if we want them to have a little bit of a space okay let me put this back Okay, 
Okay, so we can put that here. Put this one here. Make sure that this is the right sizes. Yep, perfect. Okay, now let me, I'm just eyeballing it. It's more just an eyeball game <laughs> of where you want it. So I'm gonna put this one maybe, let's see, if it's six, let me put it maybe three or two and three quarters or two and a half. Let's do two and a half. We could do two and a half on here, and then we can probably do two and a half on the other one, just to see. Let me mark it and see where it would come down to. So this one would be here. And then if I did two and a half on this side, sorry if I'm out of frame, guys, I'm just trying to get the measurements. That'll give maybe about an inch. So let's do two and three quarters. After the fold, it's already folded, so we'll do two and three quarters on both sides. So this is not this is not including the fold. So let me get my little cutter. So we'll do two and three quarters here. And then we're doing two and three quarters here. And I already, I already, I cut it folded. So this is folded is, I mean not folded, is three and a quarter, okay? And we'll do the same thing on this one. So we'll just do it open three and a quarter here and then three and a quarter on the opposite side because I, I um, scored that side there. So we'll just press those down, crease them down real good. And then I am going to round these corners. Just looks better. going to distress them by inking all around. I'm not worried about the inside flap because we are going to cover it with another piece of paper. Just a little bit. I think I've used this one so much that it's already starting to shed a little bit. <laughs> I might have to change my little dome sponge thing. Okay. You do want to do the inside too because when you open the flap you are going to see it and I'll probably do the crease the little fold here so let's just quickly do all of this this one's going to be super fun decorating is always my favorite part so you guys are going to want to stick around for 
for Friday. So I did mention that I was probably going to switch my hauls to Mondays and I think I am. I think it'll just be easier for me because that gives me a little bit more wiggle room because my weekends are always super busy. I try to take a lot of time to be with my kids and then we have church. So it's just easier for me. Okay, this looks good. I kind of like that it has a little bit of space in between so i'm thinking that i i really i really like that measurement of three and a quarter for each flap so we'll do this but before we do that we want to cut some little uh circles so should we do it out of just the plane i think so or do we want a little bit of the red let me get my circle punch we're gonna want I cut out four. So let's do four. Yeah, I think I want a little bit of the red. No, actually, we're going to need two, four, six, eight. We're going to need eight. So let's see if I have enough on here. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I always double up my my little circles just to make sure that they're sturdy enough to handle the wear and tear. So all we're going to do is glue two together. I kind of like the whole um, these remind me this this fabric looking thing reminds me of those, they're not ponchos, I forget what they're called. Because I was born and raised in LA, Long Beach area, I, uh, we used to always have these, um, you know, they're, they're kind of beachy kind of little cover-ups and they looked like this they were very thick <laughs> and they kind of have the hoodie vibe you know what I mean I don't know but look I forget what they're called but that's what that's what they remind me of that type of fabric I'm a beach girl And last one. So it doesn't matter what the inside part of the circle looks like because you're gonna, you're not gonna see that part. But regardless, let's just ink these up real quick. ink the sides just get rid of the white and then we're gonna punch holes in them so let's get our crocodile or whatever it is that you like to punch your holes with so I am going to be using the 3 16th hole and let's see if I could do all of them at the same time. I don't know how thick it'll let me punch. It seems to be pretty sturdy, so we'll see. Let me hold it this way. And try to get, try to get the circle right in the middle. Uh, yeah, I guess right there. If not, they're going to be crooked. Nice. Okay, not too bad. And now we can put these together and then just get one of the holes. Make sure that we do it at the same spot. Let's see. 
I could try to do all of them. I think it'll work. So let's just do all of them so that the hole is all in the same spot. Hold on. Let me get these all together. Okay. Now we can put this right where we need it. Uh, I guess there. Right? Yeah. And then punch it again. Okay. I think we're good. So now we can put these with our eyelets. And let's use, should we use gold? Yeah, because these red is not very red. So we'll do gold. I think the gold is pretty. It'll be more festive. I need four. Come on. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put them in. I wanna see how I want them. I think I want them straight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and then we can put our eyelets in. Perfect. So we're just gonna do all of these. I think these would be really fun if you actually used your family photos and did your own little photo album that way. This one has two. I'm doing the solid red on the top, leaving the stripes on the bottom, just so that they're a little bit uniformed. And the last one. And then we can glue these down. Then we'll put the string and then we can figure out what papers we want. Perfect. Okay. I think we're done with that for now. So we can start putting these down like this. So let's do that. We're going to glue these down because we're going to cover the flap with um, with some more decorative paper. So just kind of eyeballing where you want it and then trying to make sure that everything is a little even. They're not crooked. Okay. And then doing the same with this one. Doing it this way. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Good. That looks good. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. And then we can get our string. Maybe we'll do the string after. After we put whatever we're going to put in the middle. So let me do it. Let me do this side first. Wait. No. This is the top. So let's do this side. Okay. And 
and then we'll do the bottom. Ooh, this is going to be so pretty. So I just recently hauled all of this holiday stuff. And I thought this would be fun to do, to use all of the holiday paper. Love it. Okay. Let me get my twine. Do we want to do green? I think red. We'll do red. No, we said we were going to do the inside paper first. So let's go back to our papers and see. I was thinking if I wanted to leave it as a journal page, you know, a journal area like we did this one. This one I did leave it as a journal area. And so it's light. I didn't decorate it. I kind of left it to where we can or we can just put another picture frame in there. So let's do a picture frame. Since it is a photo album, it's got to have enough photos in it. So let me look to see. Let me put this away for now. Let's look to see what we want. I think Let's do, let's see. Should we do the plaids? Just so that it's festive. We could put, put these plaids in the middle. What's on this side? Only because it has the holly on the outside, so I didn't want it to be too floral. It has to be kind of... Let's see. We could do the stripes. So there's this plaid, too. fun to put that picture no let's do the stripes I think I'm trying to think do I want this because this might look cute to put a piece of it here and then a piece of it here you know what I mean but if we put a picture behind it, it might look it might look weird. So I don't know if I did both of them the same. I could put these because it'll it'll fit because of the length of this one. Let's just do that. I'm just checking one more time just to make sure that that's what I want. I do want something cute. But it needs to be landscape available. <laughs> I could do, let's see, what else? Mm, I'm still looking, guys. Sorry. I just want to make sure that that's what I want to use. Yeah, I think so. We'll just use this. We'll use the plaid. It'll be a pretty backdrop for the, for the picture frame. So I'm going to just eyeball again. I think I want to keep it within... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it within the borders of my flaps so that it doesn't stick out. 
So let me just get my pencil and mark it really good here. Make sure that I do the inside of that mark. And then do this side and here. So let me get my, my cutter out again. So it's here. And here. And then here. So just eyeballing it, see exactly where I want. I do need to trim off the top because the top is gonna to be too much. So let me put them together. And again, I'm going to trim the top maybe an eighth of an inch maybe, or even a quarter. Okay. Let me throw that out. Do we want to round the edges or leave it? I think we're going to leave it. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it, but we are going to distress it just a tiny bit around the edges. probably can't even tell with the distressing but I know it's there <laughs> and I don't like to see the white core of the paper so that's that then we can go ahead and glue this down Concentration. Okay. And put this down. Make sure that it's even and it's not. There. Okay. Ooh, cute. I like the way that looks on the inside. Okay. Let's do the same thing with this one. I like that you can see a little bit of it. But of course, you're not going to after we put the picture. But it's just cute for now. And then put this one. Okay, there, very cute, very cute. Now we can put our string. I've been tying the string on the bottom, the bottom little, um, what is this called? Close your little circle. And I don't measure, I just kind of do it first. I double knot and then cut this one. I try to cut it as close as I can to the circle just so that it doesn't kind of come out. Now we're going to lift this a little bit and then I just like to wrap it a couple times and then And then doing the same thing on this side. So 
so I timed myself doing one <laughs> yesterday. And I was just checking just to see how long it's going to take me to actually complete it. Yeah. It's a beautiful little photo album, but yeah, it's a little time consuming. But the turnout is going to be gorgeous. I guarantee you guys will love it. Okay. And then cut. Okay. There it is. Not bad, huh? I love it. All right, guys. So I think we're going to end this for right now. We're almost at an hour. And I just want to take my time with it. So this is it for now. This is our base. And we'll come back on Friday and finish it up. And that's it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll come back on Friday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.